Hi friends, I'm Anand Bed, the your tech guide at Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the procedure to replace the LED screen and the hinges and the display frame of the HP R series of laptops. Now it might be a R007 or R016. Any HP 15 laptop, starting with the R, you can apply this particular procedure. Now the laptop that we have today, if it looks like this, pretty badly damaged actually. As you can see, this is what has come for repair. So once opened, it basically looks like this. Now you can see pretty horribly damaged actually. So after looking at this video, you'll be able to replace the entire thing on your own. So this is the way it looks once open. And let me show the base also for you to be sure before you start removing it. And this is the way the base looks. Now the tools that you need to have is a good cutting player, screwdriver set. You need to have a prior like this or a prior like this. Anything will do. I have both so makes things easy for me. Also, I suggest you guys to have a partition box like this. If you want to disassemble your laptop anytime, you can just mention different kind of screws that are there so it won't get mixed up. But now the first thing we need to do is uh, flip the laptop and remove the battery here. Uh, this is the battery lock. Battery comes out, you can see. Now we need to see to it that we free the LED display that is there inside so that it does not get damaged whatsoever. So for that uh, we need to open the LED panel here. We need to use this prior and we need to start prying the LED display. And the top frame, the LCD hazel, we give away. Just uh, discard it and keep it on one side. Now coming to the display here, we holding on to this thing all the time because this VGA cable is connected so we need to now remove the LED from the inside. You can also remove these screws and the hinges. Screws once removed, the LED will be free. Because of the error that the customer has used earlier, it's entirely got stuck here. The LED will be coming off here so people want to replace the LED have to buy a paper LED 15.6 inches it's a normal paper LED there's another variant that is available which is the smaller pin but you need to ask a 15.6 inches paper LED normal so we need to remove the VGA cable connector so that we can keep the LED display aside for the future of further operations the LED display is uh, now free you can keep it on one side so that you can replace it in the new frame there's a cable connecting all the way to the display frame. You need to remove the web camera from the frame because the new frame does not have the web camera. Now you can discard this old display frame and the hinges. And now the work starts on the base here. This is the base and you can see it's all pretty damaged. So we need to open the base here first thing first for which we need to flip it again. There are screws uh, below these two hinges, uh, below these two pads, so just remove the screws. And then remove each and every visible screw over here. Remove it, remove it. Now you'll notice there are these two more screws over here. Now using a prior like this, you need to remove the keyboard. Uh, remove the keyboard connector. If you want to replace the keyboard, you need to follow this process. I need to remove uh, one, two, three, four screws over here. Then remove all the connectors. Now start protruding uh, the entire touchpad area. And we'll give away like this. So people want to replace the touchpad, this is the way to go. Now we need to remove the hinges which are attached to the base here. So there are these three screws over here. Two screws, the hinges will give away like this. Now we need to remove the VGA cable here and the Wi-Fi cable and release the base for the time being. We now need to take the new display frame and fit the LED display inside with the hinges and then we need to come to the base. First thing is uh, we need to take the hinges and we need to open them to the last extent. The display frame here. Take the web camera, place it precisely where it was. Place the Wi Fi antenna here. Take the LED and fix the VGA cable on the LED. 
very gently don't put any amount of pressure for it like this start placing the screws now we need to take the old hinges here uh, which have uh, the screws uh, of the base panel so we need to use a metal layer we need to hold it like this and start removing the screws one by one keep the LED display aside so it might not get damaged after removing the previous screws uh, we need to take the hinges and place the hinges now let's take the right side hinge and place it like this and start putting the screws there take the left side hinge now screws are all set now we need to put the display frame cover let's check once once again stretch see to it that uh, the hinges are both stretched to the maximum extent now we need to fit the display back onto the base here we need to put in the screws back the small one goes over here big ones We now need to take the touch pad here and uh, refit it. Start pressing it. Fixing the power button and the touch pad here. Once we have uh, fitted this touch pad, now we need to put the touch pad screws back. Take the keyboard. Start. Now once you fitted the keyboard, now we need to flip the laptop and uh, fit in all the screws that we had removed. And you're ready to go. In this video, we've shown you how to basically replace the LED screen. There's a 15.6 inches paper LED that you need to buy display frame, the hinges and the process we have shown you how to replace the keyboard, the touchpad, the motherboard is also visible, the processor fan is available. We tried our best to showcase the whole process in a very easy DIY way. Hope you liked the video, do list of suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. Thank you so much guys.